on the street today. I also wanted a real gauge on that. But they weren't upset for the veterans. They weren't upset for the bands. They were upset for the fans. That's what they were upset about. You just took our venue away? You gotta be kidding me. You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's just not right. This is what everybody, everybody wants this and the other places. We don't want one less. We don't have enough. We just simply don't have enough. Patsy Cisneros, we're at the Veterans of Foreign Wars in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, myself and Dallas Walters are two of the, of the volunteers that work every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, those, these are considered the AMVETS nights, American veterans, and we have invited you all to come and join us for those three nights. Busted up stone. Washed away bone. Left here in the sea. To drown. This is the VFW. This is our brand new local, been here for decades club. But it's been a real sleeper hit. None of us have known up until now that we could come here. Everyone's at the VFW. Why the VFW? Why not? Children in the front yard. Playing in the sand. Disappear into your Vets said, could you put music in here Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? We'd love to have as many civilians as possible. Sign the guest list. This was once my home, all broken down. The things that the veterans did for them so that they could have the freedom, so that they can open businesses if they want to, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, and, and the veterans that fought for that are these veterans that are members of this organization. Where on earth have you gone? Marine Corps, USMC. What years was that? Way back. Way before your time. Yeah. Back in the 50s. The Korean War. I think it's a sweet contribution, especially at the moment. Because it's just not about anything I'm watching on CNN. It's about people trying to get together and charm one another and have a nice time. My father used to belong in oh, really? Toledo, yeah. So I've been going to VFW since I was knee high. You know, they're fun. They're great places. And as a member of the VFW, I want to welcome you all here. Yeah. Um, some of you may have heard that um, some of our neighbors are a little upset with us because we're having such a good time here. Today we got a call from the lawyers and uh, angry business owners here in downtown Santa Fe who didn't want to support the music scene but only their own business. A couple of big favors in order to keep the fun going here. Uh, what we have to do is make sure that everybody is signed in. We're all guests of Dallas and Patsy, which are the bartenders, and they volunteer, and they're the sweetest people in the whole town. Do everything she says, and everything will be all right.
100 year flood where every night's, every night's like a double date. Jim is the drummer for, for Goshen and Percy Boyd and 100 Year Flood is brothers with my husband who is the singer for and the songwriter for 100 Year Flood and um, I'm in 100 Year Flood and then uh, Jim's girlfriend or his love of his life is uh, the bass player so we're like a family band. What I saw in the holes, in the holes. books of religion, how they involved. It was all for the great heart. Because everybody else has like tried to create like this facade of a place, and this is like being behind the set <laughs> with all the real people. <laughs> I mean, are any of us like striving to be a part of some national scene? Uh, nah. <laughs> Upon my return to the land of the dead, I went looking for a cheap thrill. I went looking for a bed. What I didn't know in my journey to the sun, I was under fire. I was under the gun. feel like really true like original um, grassroots things that's happening around here in this part of the world it's one of the only scenes where I've seen where people are actually paying attention to music and like coming here to see and listen to music and not just hey, coming here chick over there <laughs> what's that coffee maker, coffee maker. what about it you want to sell it, sell it. no how much twenty dollars twenty dollars no, no, no. Five bucks. No. No? We can't. We don't even make that. Ten dollars. Five bucks. I got two of them. Ten dollars. Five bucks. Five bucks. Ten dollars. We can't do it, man. We didn't even make that much tonight. You're close. Let me... Well, all, all the friends whose couches I stay on, they've got coffee makers exactly like that. So the I could actually use a coffee maker in my shack. You're going to do it. All right. Well, well. I got two of them. $10. At least. No. Okay. Go in there, you might get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, what else is there to say, really? Hey, I don't know if you guys see it, but there's a beautiful star-spangled red, white, and blue hat here. And it's just dying to have some George Washingtons and Abraham Lincolns and all that stuff thrown in there. Yeah, if we don't make it for at least like 20 or 30 bucks, we lose money on our babysitter tonight. <laughs> so, so if you don't mind, pulling out what you got, we sure appreciate it. What's different about this than something else that would happen in Santa Fe on a Thursday night? A little more, a little more local. My husband passed away in 1983. He was a veteran, and I love this place. He used to love to come over here, and I'm still coming, because he's still here with me. A little more underground than anything else I've seen for a little while. I like Grant. I listened to his first record. Nathan from the Amusement gave us a CD in Austin of Grant's first CD. And Grant was here in Santa Fe and made it here and whatnot. And it was, uh, I, we, my brother and I fell in love with it. from Prospect, Kentucky, when it was 
you know, pop, punk, and bluegrass and blues and and um, little bars there to 10 years of living here uh, and, you know, building a sound for a 33-year-old man. We've all played together for a long time. We've known each other for years, a lot of us. It's just it's just a matter of inspiration. And being comfortable being experimental. <laughs> People who I'm playing with at the VFW right now, my brother, uh, Nathan, and Grant, and I, I get to play with my teachers here, so it's it's like a dream. It's, it's a dream college. I've been singing a long time. Since I was about five years old. You remember like one of your first songs? Yeah, uh, Carol King. <laughs> Carol King, you're beautiful. I haven't worked a job in a long, I mean, this is a job. This is a job it's it's not a very well-paying job, but it's gratifying. So you pay rent. I, we don't live like other people. Yeah, we live sort of like hobos. Yes. Not not every musician, but. Describe your home for me. It's eight by twelve shack. <laughs> You don't need tours or I I live here and uh, I have a home and children and uh, it's so much better than a van. I don't have a home. I've got a tent and a futon, two kids, and uh, friends. Friends with couches and cable. And a wife. <laughs> and a wife, okay. yes, yes. A wife. If the legalities are in question, which, I mean, everybody can say that that envelope's been pushed. That's real. Nobody knows, and we're pretty sure we're pushing it. We got a cause on our hands, so we're not that worried about it. So for their side of it, they had to come in, and God bless them. They came in on a Sunday and didn't try to trick us. It'd be probably a vital idea to go over there and do a benefit on the behalf of the VFW and continue to keep the issue uh, in the papers and recognize. I mean, if they're going to shut us down, then it's going to have no voice really soon at the point that we don't create something like that and refuse our gigs. And now we have no voice. Right. None. You know, as soon as we say to the audience, we're not playing for you because we're mad at these guys and our venue's gone at the VFW and we're not playing somewhere else. We're just, you know, 
a disgruntled bunch of guys and gals <laughs> on the street. Old lady judges watch people pair, the limited in sex they dare to push fake morals, insult and stare. Obscenity really cares. Propaganda, it's all phony. Before I thought I could actually be a songwriter it was uh, the discovery at a young age of my dad's box of 45s. He had like crates of 45 records, you know, just everything. And, and I was like seven, eight, nine. I would just had a fascination with putting them on the record player, putting the needle down and imagining. With a killer's pride, security he must blow their mind bitterly to think that death's honesty won't fall upon them naturally. Life sometimes must get awful, lonely. Some people really like to release when they're playing, and some people like to uh, uh, um, exercise um, angels. Percy Boyd. <laughs> Percy Boyd is the, uh, a reputation. <laughs> well, Percy Boyd is really just a figment of our imagination. Ours or yours? Ours. I've been told it's your imagination. No, no. Several Percy Boyd is a figment of your imagination. We're Percy Boyd and uh, you're Percy Boyd. We're actually, it's because the world's becoming so political at the moment. We, did, we created a political organization called Percy Boyd. <laughs> and, and our plan is to change everyone's name in the world to Percy Boyd. My name is Percy Boyd. My name is Percy Boyd. Good to meet you. See how easy it could be? And we, would, we wouldn't need driver's licenses or, or library cards, just Percy Boyd. All we know is that we're, we're supposed to learn Percy's songs for Percy's arrival. And we've never met Percy. We just always love Percy songs. And uh, <clears throat> we're just excited for the day Percy shows up here at the VFW and uh, graces us with. I think they will be pleased. Yeah, it's going to be a, an awesome night. We, we heard Percy was here last night. Sleeping in the wrong barn on the wrong night. In the wrong arms of the wrong man's wife. I think the music's happening, the bar is very cool, and there's an amazing vibe in this room. It's got 14 songs. So how much is that? Ten dollars for 14 songs? That's like 80 cents a song. And if you listen to it twice, it makes it only 40 cents a song. Yeah, whatever. Got me tossing, turning, I can't sleep at night. 
thing that I see your face And you know that just ain't right Ah, oh, it just ain't natural, baby At the beginning, of that, I was nervous in a way that I'm not usually. Why is that? Well, because like it felt like you know there was a, an actual listening crowd, so you know which kind of caught me by surprise in this town. You were perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, you really were. Thanks. I did too. I really enjoyed it. Good people, music-loving people. So please respect the tip pig because the tip pig will not respect you. I think the, the tip pig sort of has a reputation for just hovering in, until you cough up something or another. <laughs> You don't get lectured here. No one, no one cracks down on you. No one, no one. They people leave you alone. You know, it's what life is supposed to be like here at you the can, VFW. I mean, I mean, you can bark like a chicken. Yes, you can bark like a chicken. You can bark like You're, a chicken, and 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 the band at least loves you. Like, 
have children and get jobs. I don't know. It either grows or it moves on. I mean, it either grows or moves. Or maybe it then grows and moves. Or maybe it just moves. For your love, my tongue is hanging out. For your love, don't leave me hanging out. For your love, baby. your love now, mommy. That's probably the closest event to you. What you just said, man, it's not, not anything against the veterans or nothing, but they, that, you know, they just need to make everything legal. He said, and I was just like, you know, every time That's I That's what he's anybody, worried about? You know, you know, they, the safety. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are. Oh, the people over at the VF. That. That's beautiful. Yeah. I don't want to cause any waves either way. I want them to have their, you know, have their crowd. We'll, we'll have our different crowd if we have to, you know. We can always play somewhere. That's not a problem. Just, we want to play there. I'm in no hurry to get to heaven. I hope I'm not needed up there. No, I prefer to breathe all this fresh country. But if I had to choose, I'd even breathe the city smoke. Trouble about a pearly gate. If you go tell St. Peter for me, he'll just have to wait. I'm hanging on here long as I can hold. Surrounded by more layers, military and fundamentalists, who even with every god on their side are still afraid of you. With every abuse of the leadership, the good people say. somewhere else than you're having here, then you're getting laid. <laughs> <laughs>